Hi, Deborah. Hi. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Well, I was just going to ask you some, to tell us something about yourself because um, we know you from your great, great, great song, uh, Sentimental. Oh. But how did you get into the music business? Tell us something about that. Um, I started when I was about 12 years old um, and I, I would join little talent shows and local um, shows and stuff and just perform across the city. And then I decided to go to a performing arts school to do music profession. Well, not professionally, but just yeah. to take it every day kind of thing. And, um, you know, I just found myself just writing songs and sort of trying to, um, you know, get into the recording industry. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden you were working with some great, great, great producers of this time. Tell us how you met them and what, what, what was it like working with them? People like Dallas Austin and Babyface mm -hmm. and Keith, what's his name? Keith Sim? Crouch and Crouch. Uh, uh, Keith Thomas. Yeah. Yeah. It was really a great experience because um, I've, you know, I have all of their records at home. And so I was thinking I would probably die just meeting them. Oh, yeah. So what was it like to have to sing in front of them and <laughs> show them your stuff? At first, it was a little intimidating because I wasn't sure what to expect from them and what they were expecting from me. But then, you know, after the session was uh, was going on, you know, I realized that they were very, very professional and they really helped me through all this, uh, yeah. the sessions. Yeah, oh, that's great. So tell us what music do you pr like personally besides the music that you make? Hmm. It doesn't really matter. I listen to a lot of different things. I, li I listen to a lot of reggae, a lot of jazz, um, just different stuff. Zebra, um, you're from Toronto, Canada? Yeah, I was born and raised in Toronto, Canada. What, what's the Because you've been to America a lot now. Mm -hmm. What's the difference between the two countries? Gosh, um, I live in, I presently live in LA and LA is much warmer than Canada. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot more sunshine. That's a plus, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think really, th that's really only the major difference. And how do you feel about the whole Quebec thing that's going on in Canada oh, now? Oh gosh, you know, that's been going on for, for so long. For yeah. so long. Yeah. I, I knew it wasn't going to really happen anyway. Yeah. We can't separate. We need to stay united. Yeah. Yeah. That's with everything, of course. Yeah. So tell us something about your new album. I've got a video here. What's um, mm -hmm. what's this all about? Well, it's, uh, you know, basically a bunch of different, it shows a lot of different sides of me musically. Um, we've got a little hip hop, a little R&B soul, you know, heartfelt ballads yeah. and got a little pop feel to it with a bit of Canadian soul. So oh, well, that's interesting. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Deborah, what are your plans for the, for the near future? For the near future, I'm presently putting a band together to start doing some promotional stuff, mm -hmm. some showcases, and I'll probably be in a city near you. Okay. <laughs> This is the Music Factory 